All right, guys, you're welcome again to another exciting moment on the channel. And very quickly, I want to say congratulations to those of you who have been shortlisted for the interview section in the NMPC graduate training program. And those of you who were not successful, um, I want to tell you better days are ahead. Don't give up on yourself. Keep applying to other organizations. And I'm sure someday you're going to be successful. All right, so don't give up. Don't feel like you're not good enough. You're not better. No, no, that's not what it is. You can actually uh, get become successful someday if you keep trying. All right, guys. So, um, like for those of you who have been shortlisted, I have been actually working on getting some possible questions, possible interview questions that you're likely going to be asked on that day. So, I'll be sharing them on the channel and mostly on the group chat, okay, so that you can actually get yourself ready with this particular question I'll be sharing. But that will be in our subsequent video, so stay connected so that you don't miss out in very important information like that. All right, guys, so in today's video, I'll just be walking you through on how to solve this possible aptitude test question on the screen, okay? I know most of you have seen this question before, so I would like us to do it one step at a time and like that. So guys, let's get started. Now this question reads, it says in an examination, P scored 30% marks and failed by 15 marks. Q scored 40% marks and obtained 35 marks more than those required to pass. Find the pass percentage. All right, we've got a couple of options here to select the correct one. So let's see which of these options is correct. Now, let's do something that you can easily relate to it before we start solving this problem. Now, let's say, for example, we have an examination and the pass mark is just 50. That's the pass mark. The pass mark is 50. Now, imagine for a moment that you got a total score of, let's say, 30. Now, you see that you've not actually passed the pass mark. So you failed by 20 marks. You failed by 20 marks. I just want you to understand what it means to say failed by and pass by. So this person here failed the test by 20 marks. Now, if the person got maybe 80 marks, right? And you see the person has actually scored above the pass mark. So the person has passed by 30 marks extra. You understand? If the person passed by an extra 30 marks. So that's pretty much what it means to say pass by and failed by. And with this understanding, let's just go right into this question. All right. Now, if you look at this question, we don't actually know the exact mark like the example I just gave you. It's just in percentage, 30 marks, 40 marks like that. So we are going to say let the total marks be T. Let the total marks be T. So the total marks, let's say the total mark, the total mark uh, let's call it t so um we cannot tell how much p scored right we cannot tell how much p scored p will, p will score 30 percent of the total mark right so that is exactly going to be 30 over 100 times t right and that is just going to be 30 over 100 of course that is 30 over 100 times t that will give us the mark that p scored right and let's say that is 30 over 100 is just 0 0.3 T, 0 0.3 T, right? That is the mark he scored. That's the mark P scored. But remember, he failed by 15 marks. He failed by 15 marks. This is the mark P scored, right? That's 30% of the total uh, mark. So he got 30% of this total mark and he failed by 15 marks. That means, let me just give you a quick example. We have 50 as our pass mark, right? And the person got 30, for instance, and the person failed by 20 marks, isn't it? 20 marks. So that means if I add the 15 marks that Mr. P failed, we're going to get the pass mark. All right? Like to, for this particular one, this person failed by 20 marks, right? So if I add 20 so the mark he got, we're going to get the pass mark, isn't it? That's pretty much what we are doing here. He got 30 marks and the pass mark is 50. So he failed by 20. So if I add the 20, he failed to the mark he got, it's going to hit up the pass mark, right? That's what we just, that's why we are adding 15. 
to this one. Now let's go to the next statement. Remember, this is for P, right? Now let's go to the, let me put just P here. Now let's go to this next statement, which is Q. Now Q got 40% max. You know, 40% is just like 40 over 100 times the total score, which is T. That will give you the, the number of max uh, Mr. Q got. And 40 over 100 is just like 0 0.4 times T, and that will give us what? 0 0.4 T. Now, get it. That is the score Mr. Q got. He got 0 0.4 T score. And now, reading on, he said that he obtained 35 marks more than those required to pass. So, in other words, he got an extra 35 marks. Now, let's come back to this stuff. Now, let's say the pass mark is 50, and you got maybe 80, for example. You got 80. Now, you can see that you got an extra 30 marks more than what was required to score. So that means if I remove that 30 marks from your score, you'll be getting the pass mark, which is 50. You get it now? So if I remove that extra you got, you'll be, you'll be hitting up the pass mark. Now, this guy, Mr. Q, got an extra 35 marks. So if I remove that from his score, he'll be hitting up, he'll be hitting up the pass mark again, just like P. Are you getting this stuff? So now you see now we have... This equation here equal to the pass mark. This equation here equal to the pass mark. So the pass mark are, are equal. That is that these two equations should be equal because the pass mark are equal. So I'm going to set up these two equations together. That will be 0 0.3t plus 15 is equal to 0 0.4t minus 35. All right? So take like terms. Bring this one to this side. So you have 0 0.3t uh, minus 0 0.4t is equal to minus 35 minus 15. And minus 35 minus 15 is exactly what? That is exactly minus 50. And this will just give us minus 0 0.1t. And minus cancel out minus, divide everybody by 0 0.1, divided by 0 0.1. And here we go, we have now, this cancel out this guy. So we now have that t is equal to, look at this one, you can actually use your calculator to do this stuff right here, if you don't mind. Or you can just multiply the up and the down by 10, just to take away 0 0.1 from decimal, and that will give us 500 over 1. And so the total score is just 500. That's the total score for this particular exam. So if the total score is 500, I can actually get what P scored. That will be 30% uh, of 500, which is... 30% um, of 500 is going to be like... Uh, uh 150 you get it now so that is just what it is so we can we can actually get the score for p and we actually get the score for t t got 40 percent that would be 40 percent of 500 was going to be like uh on the council on there that's four times five that's 200 so t uh, mr q got 200 score mr p got uh 150 score so that is it right now now that's not all we, they want us to do they want us to find the pass percent the pass percentage, that is the pass mark percentage. That's what they want us to find. They want us to get the pass mark percentage. So one minute, let me clean up this side from here. Let's clean up this side from here so that we can have enough space to solve this problem. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We have uh, this all set. We have the total is 500, right? Now, what would be the pass mark? Because we want to get the pass mark percentage. So let's quickly get the pass mark. Of course, the pass mark, you can take any of this equation to get the pass mark. Any of this equation here, any of this one here will give you the pass mark. Let's take equation one. So we have that the pass mark uh, is going to be uh, 0 0.3t plus 15. That will give us the pass mark. So that will be 0 0.3. The t is actually 500, right? And then we have plus 15. Now, uh, 0 0.3 times 500, that is going to give me 150, right? Let me be sure. That is like saying 30 over 100 times 500. 0 cancel 0. 3 times 5 is 15. Then you have your 150. So we have 150 here plus 15. So that will give us 165. Wow. That means the pass mark for this exam is 165, right? But they want us to put it in percentage. How do we put it in percentage? The pass mark is 165. That will be 165 
over the total mark, which is 500 times 100%. That's how to convert the pass mark to percentage, right? Now, from here, you see this two zero can cancel out this two zero. Yes, and five here is one. Five in 16 is three. Remainder one. Five in 15 is um, three again. So what do we have? We have 33%. So that is the percentage of the pass mark. If, if they've asked for the pass mark, the pass mark is just 165. If they've asked for the total, the total is just 500. If they've asked for what's the score of P, the score of P will be 30% of the total mark, which is uh, 500, that would be 150, and like that. So guys, this is the end of this particular question. I hope this is clear. Tell me what you, um, how much this video has helped you in the comment section. Tell me if you understood clearly what you've discussed here. And of course, I'll see you in the next video by God's grace. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye-bye.